Hi, this is Ron Rowland from Money and Markets TV. One of my favorite investment strategies is to follow trends from one sector to another using exchange traded funds. But one sector that rarely shows up on my radar screen is industrials. This industry includes some very large, well known stocks, but the problem is they're hard to categorize. Take General Electric, for example. Its businesses include clean energy, nuclear power, jet engines, television networks, consumer finance, medical equipment, and many others. Based on its profits, GE is arguably more of a financial services stock than anything else. But you won't find it in a financial sector fund or energy, media, or medical equipment funds for that matter. But the ETF sponsors have to put it somewhere. They consider industrial companies to be those whose business consists of capital goods, commercial and professional services, and transportation. Since GE is involved in all those areas, it instantly becomes the world's biggest industrial firm. And since it is so large, most industrial sector ETFs are top heavy with GE shares. Spider Industrial has 11% of its portfolio in GE, almost twice as much as the next biggest holding, United Parcel Service. Another popular fund, Vanguard Industrials, allocates over 12% of its portfolio to GE, three times more than United Technologies. The iShares Dow Jones US Industrials also gives GE a weighting of more than 11%. While true industrials like Caterpillar and 3M get only 3 to 4%. And the iShares Global Industrials, which includes companies from all over the world, still has 8% of its portfolio allocated to GE shares. In other words, if you want industrials in an ETF, you also get GE, like it or not. That's why a lot of investors ignore these funds. They're not pure plays like most sector ETFs. But you can get around this problem by focusing on different segments of the industrial sector. For example, there's the iShares Dow Jones U.S. Aerospace and Defense Fund, which capitalizes on our dominant position in aircraft, weapon system, and related technologies. Its holdings include United Technologies, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, General Dynamics, Raytheon, and more. The U.S. is also a world leader in environmental services, an increasingly important requirement for all kinds of businesses. That industry is represented by the Market Vectors Environmental Services ETF. Finally, don't forget the transports. Despite astronomical fuel costs, shipping is still a huge and profitable business. iShares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund holds shares of all the industry leaders, and it's very liquid. You can also consider industrial ETFs that are alternatively weighted like First Trust Industrials, Producer Durables, Alphadex, or Guggenheim S&P 500 Equal Weight Industrials. Both tend to keep their GE allocations below 2%. But what if you actually want GE? In that case, consider buying individual shares. I'm usually not a big fan of this tactic, but since GE is involved in so many businesses, it has a built-in diversification factor and may be worth holding on to long term. I'm Ron Rowland from Money and Markets TV. Thank you for watching.